senior animal cruelty investigator Debbie Michelson is returning to a home in southeast Houston. She's been working with a family to help them gain control over their large collection of small dogs. In talking to the gentleman, the issue was he just got overwhelmed. He took somebody's dog in, and they had puppies and more puppies. And he has uh, several females, um, unneutered males. He's got another female that's, you know, very pregnant right now as well. So um, this is a situation that would just continue on and on and on. It's already been agreed that the family will sign over some of their dogs to the Houston SPCA. But there's some frustrating news for Michelson. Hello. Somebody took some of them? Yeah, yesterday. The puppies? OK, somebody took the little puppies, and so they're going to be out there without being spayed or anything? Yeah. OK, let's go see what we got back here. They're OK. So we've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, is this what we're taking? Yeah. You're gonna come with me, huh? Okay. In all, we're going to um, go ahead and remove the animals that are here, and it's certainly gonna help the situation. Um, my only concern is that he did get rid of three of the small puppies, um, smaller puppies, and we don't know where they went, and they're probably not gonna be spayed. It does cause me some concern, but we'll take care of the immediate issue here. When Michelson goes back into the yard, she discovers there's an even bigger problem to deal with. We've got puppies. Four. There are newborn puppies, and they all look extremely sick. I really want to get mom out of the sun. Shh. What are you doing? Mom's all there. Come on. Okay, so. For some of the puppies, Help has come too late. I think two of the puppies may not have made it. Two of the puppies look like they might have passed. If we can get mom and put them in, put her in here. I'd like her in here because the puppies are a little cool. Come on, mama. Put mama in here with the babies. Okay, there we go. Okay. With the little family secured, Michelson needs to round up the other dogs, then get the newborns back to the Houston SPCA shelter as quickly as possible. Where would you like? You can go right on that table okay. out of the kennel. I'll be right there. Excuse me. Got a towel. Veterinarian Dr. Tori Cole immediately takes a look so at the mother the and pups. Just started. He told me that she had just had them this morning. Okay. Yeah. She's a little timid. When I went over there and like moved her, I said I thought the, the two were deceased. It's hard to know exactly how two of the puppies died. Dr. Cole's focus is to ensure the mom, Isabella, stays healthy so she can nurse the surviving pups. She walked off and they were a little chilly. Hey, Jimena, can you go ahead and get a heating pad set up on this bottom kennel down here? Um, she's a little pale. Is her my way or? Pale gums may signal a health issue. I don't know if she's still got puppies or anything. Okay. It's hard to feel. She's so tense. Mm -hmm. Obviously, our concern with her is that she might still be in labor. Um, she has two deceased puppies, so that does concern me for the viability of the two she has. But um, the main thing we have to figure out now is you know, taking care of mom and make sure she doesn't have any more puppies in her, mm -hmm. and then getting her back with the two puppies she has, because they really need her mm -hmm. <laughs> in order to, to make it. We'll go ahead and um, get some x-rays and okay. then see what we have. Okay. Okay. I know. Perfect. Any left? So her x-ray is left um, up. There's one yep. puppy still in her abdomen, but it hasn't moved forward. It's and disturbing there's news. There's so still a puppy yeah, inside it's Isabella. So it's a full, fully developed puppy, pretty large puppy, um, but our main concern is can this puppy pass through the birthing canal? And based on what we're seeing, it doesn't look like it can't just based on size. But what we were saying is, you know, if she's gotten, we call it uterine inertia, so if she's tired or her balance is off with her chemicals in her body where she can't continue to give birth, then we might need to still intervene. It's all right, darling. It's okay, Mama. It's okay, Mama. They need to find out if the puppy is still alive. It's a good girl, Mama. 
So what if there is no heartbeat then? It's, it's kind of one of those gray zones where you still need to either consider seeing if she can pass it on her own or taking her to surgery. Now, if she had no puppies to be nursing out there, we would just take her to surgery and, and go ahead and, and do that for her. Yeah. But it, it's you know one of those tricky things because if we don't have to rush her to surgery, that's better for her and the two puppies that she needs to nurse. But if this puppy doesn't have a heartbeat, which unfortunately I'm not seeing the heartbeat. Sadly, it seems the puppy has died, making a natural delivery more difficult. Dr. Cole is now faced with a very difficult decision. If I rush her to surgery too soon and, and she didn't need to go to surgery, I could not only be putting her at risk, but the puppies. She might not nurse them afterwards and they might not survive. If I wait too long and don't go to surgery at the right time, she might not make it and then nor will the puppy. So it, that would be a lose-lose as well. Dr. Cole decides to give Isabella some time to pass the puppy naturally. A little bit cold, it's a little cold. It'll give the surviving puppies a chance to be nursed by their mother. But the longer they leave it, the higher the risk to Isabella's life. Ideally, in the next hour, we're gonna make our decision. So we're gonna give her this time, leave her alone, kind of in her quiet spot, and, and pretty much at five o'clock, try and make a decision of what we're going to do in moving forward to emergency surgery. The team hopes to avoid an emergency C-section. Isabella and her puppy's lives now hang in the balance. Senior cruelty investigator Debbie Michelson is helping evaluate the dog she brought in to the Houston SPCA shelter. While Dr. Tori Cole checks on Isabella, the mother dog. My goodness. See? Her final puppy died in the womb, but fortunately, she's managed to deliver it. Debbie, she passed the puppy. We saved her from a surgery. Oh, that's so, so good. I'm so go. glad. Um, and the two pups are in there nursing, so she's resting. She ate. She just ate a little bit too. So I'm so happy. Okay, so this is like Whew. the best thing that could happen. So. No, it really is. And she might not have made it through the surgery even. You right. know, when they're that sick and debilitated. So great job. Got her in right in time. <laughs> right now, her prognosis is really good. We're going to be keeping her in our care, under vet care, for the next 48 hours or so. And then her next her next stage is she needs to be a nursing mom and most likely in foster care to get her out of the shelter setting. 